super simple day today. I don't have very many thoughts because I'm actually focusing on what I'm going to be doing right after this, which is talking about depression on top of the hill. So I was like, well, what can I talk about while well, I do a little bit of bicep? I need to do some biceps and then I also need to do brachialis and then I was going to do some pull-ups. So I was like, well, I know what I can talk about. I'll talk about what I'm thinking about. <laughs> um, and recently what I've been coming across is the theme of like, what is love? And I'm like, well, I think love, or actually, well, I think love is just wanting the best for somebody or something boiled down. And then there's all types of different love. There's romantic love, platonic love. There's friendly love, love of an animal, love of a parent. Like there's different types of love. And each and every single one of those varies in how you act. And I was talking about this with Ethan. This is too light of a weight. <clears throat> I was talking about this. Okay, hold on. I really i am stressing out about this mic. It keeps like breaking up and not working. So I'm really scared it's not going to record the audio. But I was talking with Ethan about what's love. And explaining that I perceive love to be what I just said. And he was disagreeing. And like... I, we were at the gym and I was like, I love all of these people. And he's like, see, I don't, I don't love anybody here. And I'm like, dude, like what the hell? Like I love every single person who's alive. Cause like I want what's best for them. And I hope that everybody can experience the level of joy that I get to experience and like the level of clarity and all these things. And I'm like, I love everybody. Might not like them, but I love them. And I think that's really important. And people don't understand that anymore. Especially in my generation, we think love is like this this gooey, ooey feeling. And like, it's not. <sighs> love is literally just wanting the best for somebody. You can want the best for a partner or whatever. And we get confused between love and lust. And I think that's where a lot of disconnection happens. Because we're all, not we're all, we are guilty of chasing our lustful. Um, desires and not knowing how to be a romantic lover which I kind of came across when I was watching um, Eric Andre's movie Bad Trip they're in a cafe and this old lady was like be romantic first and then you can be sexual later and it was kind of like it was like haha but it was like also like it's kind of true like nobody knows how to be romantic anymore you know like that that World War II type of romance you know what I mean like the dude hanging out of the train to kiss his girlfriend goodbye and like going off to work, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, some shit, but it's like, nowadays it's like, yo, send ass pics, you know what I mean? <laughs> and like, sure, there's some things, and like, I don't know, like, for an example, Raven, my stepsister, has finally come across a guy who actually, like, seems like he has a good head on his shoulders. And like, he gives her flowers, like, Every time, right before the next one's going to die, he gives her flowers, new ones. And it's like, he cares about her and he wants the best for her. And he's not there for just sexual stuff, like, which is impressive to her and impressive to me because I'm like, finally, like somebody's going to take care of my sister. And I think that's important to decipher, <sighs> but yeah, that's kind of what's on my mind right now. Other than that, updates on life right now. Um, having a little bit of self-doubt about this car flipping thing. My project with the MGTD is going too slow. And, oh, oof, damn. Oh, money's going slow right now. And, um... Stressing out about what I'm going to do with my future. Not my future, but like my near future, like the summer. Which I think is, I'm going to move to Hawaii for a month with some friends and live in an Airbnb. And then go to Costa Rica for like two weeks right after. And both of that would be consecutive right after a trip to Thailand um, at a meditation retreat. So, yeah. Oh, also, I got grounded <laughs> for the next two weeks. 
Um, I'm allowed to come here because it's technically work. I'm only really allowed to work. And I come here and work on the farm and I work out and I make these videos. And that's all I need to really be happy. I'm going to work on the weekends. Today's Thursday. I work tomorrow afternoon. And I work on Easter as well. And I also work on Saturday at 1. Um, yeah. And it was because Ethan and I, when we were at the party last weekend, uh, we smoked. And it was the first time in a long time for me. First time I've been to a party since high school. And I was like, I was like, yo, I need to like live a little bit of life. Like I've been so hard on myself. And I've gotten to the situation and better that I wanted and that I envisioned. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. But it was bad because my dad just had Frank move into the house with us so that Frank could have discipline. And he's trying to quit weed. And it was a bad example as a big brother to him to go to a party and smoke weed. But Frank didn't even go. He still has like house arrest basically with my dad. Um, so yeah, that's some basic updates. This video is gonna be very boring, but it doesn't matter. It's just for you, Nana. Um. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I just feel like I've had a lot of brain fog lately, and I haven't been meditating as much. Meditating as much, and I don't know. I'm just looking for something to change soon. Nah, I'm not looking for. I'm. Just, I feel like. I feel like I'm missing out, but I'm doing everything that I want to be doing and that I need to be doing. So it's like a very confusing feeling. You know what I mean? So. That's what's going through my mind. Eating 300 grams of protein a day for $15 a day. Actually, no, $10 a day. Because I know how to eat, bro. Hello? What's up, Ben? You leaving? Fifteen minutes? Ah. Oh yeah, getting a little bit of a workout. And some biceps. Oh yeah. Lift it? I could try. Can you? Alright, let's see it. Do it. Here, I took some of the weights off. Here, we'll start off with the weight warm up. Alright. Let's do it. You just saved me. I had nothing to talk about. I was about to just sit in silence. Oh, Ethan and I just played a game of skate on the trampoline. And he won. Two out of three. Two out of three. Oh, yeah. All right, Ben. Nice boys. You know that. A little bit of a warm up. Is this still recording? It is. Brian in the jorts. My back bending? Feeling, feeling lightheaded. I know. I need to do more cardio. My heart has not been treating me nice. You ran three miles? Nice. I did like 20 Jeez. That's. Yeah. Five minutes, two seconds. Ben. Boing. 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 Nice. Brick. It was. Back is not gay.
I don't want to do any more. My back has been so sore lately. Uh. All right, that's it. That's some real weight. I got to hit at least one of these. I hit 315 for three last week at the gym. Nice. What? Dude. <laughs> nice, dude. That's crazy. What the hell? Do you feel like this? Yeah. So make it easier? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. I don't want to. I can feel my back, dude. Really? I don't want to do it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> That's it. Bad. Bad. Yeah. All right. Something like that. Well. <laughs> Not good, nice. Good job, though. Yeah. Some something tells me I want to try with the sumo squat. Yeah. Oh, that hurt my belt it's going right into my stomach. Yeah, dude. All right. I think that's it for today for this part of the video. Moods.